Hey y'all, so this is gonna be more of a rant video, excuse to tell, I am, I have a hot oil treatment on my hair. Excuse the background noise too. I'm sorry you guys, very impromptu. But you know, so I did that video on my favorite um, rinse out conditioner or co-washes and I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I'm getting all my products ready for wash day because it could be a bit much for me. But why it's a bit much is because of my deep conditioner. I still to this day have not found the perfect deep conditioner y'all there have been a lot of products that I have tried there have been a lot of lot of deep conditioners and I'm like wow that's great but yet I have not found one to where I'm like okay I'm gonna add it to my deep conditioner routine I have to always make my deep conditioner using the cholesterol here a rinse another rinse out conditioner there some oils there so it's <laughs> sorry I mean why is it like that I have two that I can show you right now that are great, but still I wouldn't say, okay, I'm gonna add that to my deep conditioner list. And it's Eden Body Works, the natural deep conditioner jojoba. Great, sorry, great product. I have a review on this. And then we have ORS's hair mayonnaise. But this to me is like a little mini, like a mild protein treatment. I don't need a protein treatment when I deep condition. I don't want that. So. I don't know I'm just yeah like I said this is a little mini ranch video I'm looking at my products now and the bottom shelf is nothing but cholesterols because that's what I use as my base to make a DIY I mean, and looking at the products I have I would say a good I mean, there's a mixture of everything, but the least products are a good deep conditioner. Now, at the bottom here, and I'll, I'll pull around, like I said, I have a bunch of cholesterols. So we have Queen Helen. We have about five of the olive oil. Then I have um, random mask here, like, you know, Palmer's deep conditioning protein pack. I have a couple of these laying around. But again, I end up having to mix a lot of those products together, y'all, to make a great deep conditioner. I, I've yet to find one for my hair. Ugh, it's just, it's frustrating. Let me see what else is down here. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely not. So it can be frustrating for me. I have the mesh I'm gonna be reviewing soon, but look at the size of this. This is nine ounces. This is only gonna be one usage for me, maybe one and a half. You know, I'll, I'll probably get through though, but about 75% of that jar because I have so much hair. So yeah, you know, there are some good ones out there like the ORS, but again, I don't need that all the time, so I end up mixing it with other stuff. Um, I just wish I could just pick up a jar and run with it. You know what I mean? Just pick up a deep conditioner and that be it. And you know, maybe there's someone out there that I haven't tried yet. So let me know y'all, drop it down below. Or there's some great deep conditioners out there for four tight, thick, dense hair. I'm still looking. And until I find the one, I'm just gonna have to keep making my own, so.